Hello, I'm Victoria Newman Green, a transplant registered dietitian with UC Health. In this video, we'll walk you through how you can watch your potassium intake. Why watch your potassium intake? After your transplant, you will be placed on several immunosuppressants to protect and prevent your new organ from rejection. And while these meds do a great job of doing just that, they also can elevate your potassium levels. These elevated potassium levels can ultimately cause a heart attack, so it's important to keep your levels within normal ranges. One of the best ways to do so is to check your diet and avoid high potassium foods. Try to steer clear of things like bananas, avocados, and orange juice. Strictly speaking, between 2300 and 2500 milligrams a day should allow you to keep in normal ranges. After your transplant, you'll be undergoing regular labs that we can use to help you monitor your levels. However, it's important you're aware of the role your diet plays so you can do your part. As always, we're here to answer any questions you might have. To learn more, visit uchealth.org transplant.